Hello and welcome back to just RP 3.0 and uh, as you guys can tell from the title today we're going to be getting into the green game a little bit because I figured we would uh, change stuff up a little bit and again this system has been added on the server for a long time it doesn't seem a lot of people really do it so I figured today we would take the time and try and learn it try and figure it out now I did try and figure it out a little bit on stream yesterday if you guys do want to go watch that VOD again twitch.tv forward slash Zez games it should be the most recent VOD or the VOD before the last one again I am streaming every day at 4 30 p.m EST Monday through Saturday so make sure to go check that out as well but uh what we're gonna do first of all is probably head up to the actual field with the plants i'll explain some more stuff once we get there but uh let's just head up there i'm not sure if this is the best vehicle for it because we are going to be having quite a lot of the buds so we might want to have like a truck or something um you know actually we're gonna do something i haven't done since basically the beginning of the series and we're gonna go we're gonna go rent a bison i have not actually done this in quite a long time pretty much since we bought our jester i haven't been able to I haven't had to rent any cars but we are going to go, of course, go rent a bison, and I'll meet you guys once we're at the field. Uh, some other stuff, a lot of stuff has happened, actually, since I've made a video about it. Or I guess I just haven't made a video about it yet. But uh, there's actually a tuner shop added in. Uh, there's quite a couple clubs that were added in. Cockatoos was added with a really, really cool interior. Uh, there's now Yellow Jack up north. They have some actually really, really great RP up there. There's like a little darts thing up there. There's arm wrestling. Um, obviously, the tuner shop where you can now actually get imports and such like that. Um, there's actually some really cool cars there as well. We also work there. Again, we'll probably go into the tuner shop stuff in the next episode because I really wanted to do this episode on the green stuff today because uh, it's, you know, something fun and entertaining. It's Something new to do but uh let's go grab our rental real quick Alrighty, we're here let's make sure we lock our baby up boom and let's go over here and let's get ourselves a bison actually do we have enough cash yeah we have enough cash i have not got a rental in whew, months oh we're actually probably not months because the server hasn't been out for months but i haven't got the rental in a long time so let's grab our rental real quick and i'm gonna go head up to the field um of course don't be a weirdo and metagame stuff from this video please but uh, yeah, let's go head up to the field and I will see you guys once we're up there. Alrighty, so we are up north. Uh, I think we can actually head on to this little trail over here. Should be pretty fine. And I believe this is the spot. So let's park up, boom, boom, plants are already here. And let's, uh, let's start picking. Now again, I did this a little bit on stream yesterday and it seemed that even though we did get some of this uh, wet bud, we would also have a very rare chance to get seeds or at least that's how it seemed. So I think what we're gonna do is keep going again. These weigh about five each, so we can't carry a ton on us, but again, the bison can hold, I think a thousand pounds. So we should be able to have quite a lot of these on us uh, when we go to dry them as well. So again, we were picking these quite a bit yesterday on stream and it seemed like after two runs of the jester, we got one seed um and the jester only holds 200 so a lot less than this but it seems very very rare to get these seeds again i barely got any yesterday let's actually start putting these in the trunk again i'm pretty sure the bison can hold a thousand pounds and each one of these is only five pounds yeah a thousand pounds so we should be able to feed quite a lot in here so let's uh let's keep grabbing more of these and uh yeah i guess i'll just speed through all this this is going to take quite a while um again the seeds seem to be very very rare for these so i have no idea you know what the drop chance is but uh again we did about probably like 500 pounds worth of this stuff which is about 100 plants and we got about one seed so it's very very rare but uh, i'm gonna go speed through this and uh, i guess i'll cut back whenever we actually get our first seed hopefully it does not take too long We just got our first seed finally it took forever we got an og kush seed i'm pretty sure this is the same one we got last time. i'm not sure if you can get other strains 
I do know that I believe uh, some other people were able to get other strands. I'm not sure if they got it from this way or if they were getting them a different way. Oh, we got our first seed. That took freaking forever. Um, yeah, that took a long time. We went through 130 wet buds before we were able to get the OG Kush seed. Holy crap. Um, so I think what we're gonna do, yeah, I think what we're gonna do is fully fill up our trunk now uh, Instead actually let's drop some of this stuff. that's like kind of weighing us down, but we're gonna fully fill up this trunk uh, We have a little bit more to go and then I guess we will go over to that spot and uh, dry And I might just cut I might not do the fast forward thing through this guess we'll see um, But uh, either way, I'll see you once we got our once we're done picking quite a lot more and our trunk is full five minutes later Oh my we already got another one we picked like two plants and got another one. That's so lucky. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna keep going, but holy crap, that's lucky. We literally picked like two plants and got another one. Okay. So I guess it's the same thing with like store robberies where you can do 20 store robberies and not get a dongle, or you can do one store robbery and get a dongle, or you can do five and get five in a row. It's just all RNG, I guess. Hopefully we get some better RNG and get maybe another extra seed or two so we can have uh, a couple, a couple mistakes because last time on stream when we did it, um, we actually tried to use it in a public spot and unfortunately it made our seed and the plant or the pot disappear. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to have a couple extra chances if we get a couple extra seeds to help us along. But again, I think what we're going to go do is hopefully keep gathering these till we fill up our truck, maybe get a couple more seeds along the way, and I'll see you once the trunk is fully filled up. Alrighty, so filled up the good old trunk. See, we have 188 wet bud. That is, whew, that's quite a lot. Um, we're going to drop some extra stuff so we don't have a lot of weight on us as well, just so we're able to, you know, actually drop a lot of this stuff off or actually bring a lot of this stuff into the spot without having to go back and forth between our trunk and uh, the spot. But I guess I am going to go head over to the plant drying spot. Again, I am uh, not going to show the outside to try and prevent as much meta as possible, but I will just cut to when we are in the interior of the spot and I will see you then. Alrighty, we are in the place. Let's just, of course, clear it out a little bit. Let's see. Okay, no one in here. Alright, we're all good. Woo! A little scary. I don't know why I keep hearing footsteps, but again, we do have uh, 35 on us. I believe we can dry in uh, things of five. Now, when we were doing it on stream the other day, it seemed like uh, there was a very, very rare chance for us to get Hydro Bud, I believe it's called. And again, we don't know what to do with that yet. Hopefully we can figure out in today's episode. See, uh, so usually we're gonna get dried. Like it seems to give you anywhere from one to four uh, dried we get for every five wet, but hopefully we can get a little bit more than that again. See, we got four, I think for that. For these five we're gonna get, let's see. Oh, see, boom, there it is already, Hydro Bud. I don't know what to do with this yet. This is something that we need to figure out. Because I think I have another one of these in my jester as well that's waiting. And I have no idea what to do with this. I'm trying to figure out if this is something maybe we can turn into something else. I tried the rolling papers with it and nothing happened. So I'm still confused about what this is for. But uh, hopefully we're going to be able to figure that out today. We're going to keep drying these two, though. It doesn't seem like they take too long. You got to put them up and you got to wait a little bit. Again, it's just like a couple seconds, so it's nothing too crazy. Then, of course, grab them down, and boom, we get it. So we only got one for five that time, so it seems to be very random. Anywhere from, like, one to four uh, dried bud, it seems we get. But uh, let's see. If we do it again, if we're going to get the same... I'm not sure though what the hydro bud is used for. I've been trying to think about it and we try to like turn it into baggies or something because maybe you could sell it to locals and stuff, but that unfortunately did not work. So what I think we're going to do is try a couple different things. Um, I want to buy some more baggies and trying to see if we can turn these into baggies to sell to locals and actually make some money from. I'll also show you what we're able to craft with the dried bud as well. Um, actually, let's go grab some more and then uh, I'll continue talking to you guys in just a second. But as I was saying, I think that uh, there has to be a way because I've heard of people selling this stuff to locals. I'm just not sure how they did it. Um, again, it could just be a lie. It could just be a rumor. A lot of people stood rumors to try and like, you know, waste people's time. So it might be that, you know, that's obviously just part of the RP. But um, I have a feeling that there has to be a way to be able to actually sell this stuff to some people. I actually do know a spot where we're able to sell joints. So I'm wondering if the joints you make from this are the ones that you're able to sell. That would be actually very, very interesting because we tried selling a bunch of other kinds and we weren't able to. So maybe you can only sell this kind to that local 
that might be the answer i'm you know just thinking about that now so what i think we're gonna do is make a bunch of joints with all of these and then try if we can sell them or try try and see if we can sell them i also do want to buy some baggies and maybe look around at some couple shops see if there's any way we can turn this hydro bud into maybe some baggies or something else but uh, either way i think we're gonna go through dry all of the bud that is in our truck and then uh, i guess i will cut back to see what we end up getting from all of it again hopefully we can get some more of this hydro bud so we have a little bit to mess around with to try and uh, figure out what it's used for but either way i guess i'm gonna keep drying these for the next uh, foreseeable future hopefully again this doesn't take too long and i will see you again once everything is dried up and we are trying to figure out what we do with it Alrighty, so we just finished up with the drying and if we look at our inventory we ended up getting 62 dried bud so not horrible and about two hydro bud which again we still don't know what it's used for and let me just make sure i got all the stuff out of the trunk i'm 99 sure i did oh never mind there was 20 more in there good thing we double checked um, and then obviously we have all of this other stuff which we need to do stuff with as well so i ended up getting 82 dried bud out of a trunk full two hydro bud as well then again we have those two seeds from picking the plants so not bad overall again no idea what the hydro bud is for but what i want to do real quick is go craft up some of the joints which again if we head to a store i believe we should be able to pick up some papers and then turn that along with the bud into joints now i'm not sure if there is a way to actually make the baggies that you're able to sell to locals um again that might just be a rumor that people lie about just to annoy and like waste other people's time that definitely could be a thing that happened a lot with a lot of different aspects of the server but again that's all part of just the rp and uh, people lying is just part of it as well but again that's why you don't believe anything unless you see it but uh let's actually grab we have 400 dollars let's grab like let's grab like 50 rolling papers they don't weigh anything so there's not too much problem there uh actually let's grab 100 screw it we'll grab 100 rolling papers um and then also there are baggies here but i'm not sure how to use these uh we can grab 10 of these though and try and figure them out again these have to be used for something if we just use them nothing happens if we use the dry but it's just gonna make a joint i'm pretty sure yeah it's just gonna use the rolling paper and then make a joint right yeah that's just gonna make a joint if we use the hydro bud nothing happens so huh a little stuck here definitely a little stuck on what to do so again we could make these in the joints and see if we can sell those there is a local that i believe buys them so uh we could do that although it's going to take quite a while to roll all of these up uh yeah it's going to take a long time to roll these all up but i think if we go ahead over to a uh, u-tool actually right down the street we should actually be able to buy i believe a plant pot and fertilizer i think those were newly added into the store so uh, let's actually drive down there real quick but again i'm trying to figure out what this bud like the hydro bud is actually used for we might have to go to bishop for some help with that since he is obviously more into the green game than we are we might have to go talk to him but uh let's see i believe they do sell pots and fertilizer here let's double check purchase tools yeah so they do sell that actually we need to get money out of an atm one second let's go get that money i'll be right back crap and we are back this time with actual money on us so let's pick up again probably we have two seeds so let's just grab two plant pots as well as two plant oh wait we can't hold all that um huh well we can turn this two into one is it a one-to-one -one? like is one bud equal one joint let's see so we had 76 okay we had 76 and now let's see now we have 75 so it's one for one so we're losing about a pound every single time we do it but uh i think we should be able to okay that's just a local i always get freaked out by the freaking locals pulling up again now but uh let's drop some stuff off in here what else can we drop off from our inventory we have a lot of stuff and i guess we could drop off some of the petrol cans drop off two of those drop off our screwdriver for now uh we can drink one of our hot teas uh yeah i guess so it's not too bad 
actually actually let's cancel drinking the hot tea because i believe that relieves stress and instead let's see how much stress these uh these joints relieve because these take forever to smoke this is more of like a social joint when you're around people to kind of just be chilling with uh, i don't believe it adds armor at all but let's see how much it does for stress again these ones take quite a while to smoke just because these are oh, supposed yeah. to be meant for like when you're chilling with people since you can no longer do the smoke animation because we you know wanted to make it a little bit more realistic these are more like social joints so uh let's actually just go through and and then uh, I guess whenever this is done, I'll cut back in a second and see how much stress this relieves. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, so it did all of our stress. Uh, I'm guessing it relieves a lot because it takes forever and it doesn't actually give you any armor. So logically, I would guess that it gives you a lot. But again, include all of that stress we had there. So it's at least that much. Wait, can we really not fit that? We should be able to. Oh, you can. They don't stack. I get it. I get it. I get it. They don't stack. And then let's grab two of the plant feeds and that should be enough i believe uh anything else we need to grab i don't think so so now we can try and figure out how to plant these but again i do want to test out if we can sell these joints to someone so what i think we're gonna do can we actually roll them up in the car yes we can thankfully don't worry about it. let's just rolling up and driving totally totally safe don't worry about it but uh, I think what we're gonna go do is probably roll the rest of these up or roll like a lot of these up. So we have like 30 of these in our inventory. Go to the guy where we're able to sell the joints to and see if we're able to sell these to him. Cause again, we tried out a bunch of different strains of joints to be able to sell to this guy and we weren't able to. So what I think we're gonna do is again, finish rolling at least like 30 of these up go to the guy and see if he will buy these because again he didn't buy any of these specialty ones we get from best buds or anything like that like the actual strains but these are just kind of the trash ones so maybe he'll buy these but uh either way i guess i will cut back to when we're selling it to him again um i'm gonna try my best to hide the location but i might just have to cut it out of us actually selling to him but uh either way i'll see you guys in just a second once we're done oh boy this is gonna take us this is gonna take a while <laughs> to roll all these up but i'll see you guys once we're actually trying to sell these in just a couple minutes Alrighty, so we're here with my beautiful man again i'm doing this like this to prevent meta the best i can but we ended up rolling around 51 of these so let's see if we're able to sell it to him let's see oh okay 480 for oh he buys the dried bud oh okay will he buy the joints as well no he won't okay so he's the one who dry buys the dr dried bud I forget how much we got i think we got like 400 and something i think so not a lot for 30 dry bud that's really not worth it but uh i guess we could probably sell the joints to actual people for some probably decent money but 30 for 480 dollars is really not worth it um we could try again maybe it's a reputation thing where the more we sell to him the better prices he has uh that might be the deal so we might have to test it out quite a little bit more we still have no idea what this hydro bud is for but we're gonna try planting these plants in a couple places again we only have two tries at this i have an idea i'm guessing it might be only in houses but i have two ideas for spots and we will see if they work so again i'm gonna cut back in just a second once we're at the first location to see if we're gonna be able to plant there all righty so we are back in the jester unfortunately my internet decided to turn off for about the last half hour but we're back now of course unfortunately our car is gone or our truck is gone but we didn't have too much in there besides just a couple tools some repair kits and a couple odds and ends but again we still oh let's not crash but we still have these two these two seeds we still have these two pots plant pots my bad and these two plant feeds as well as the hydro bud which again we still don't know what to do with we also have the 51 joints which again we'll probably just tell to some people it seems like the guy that i was showing you guys earlier will buy the dried bud though so it still might be worth it to go do some of that and see if there's progression with it maybe the more we sell to him the more he buys them for we'll have to figure that out you know all just for testing stuff in the future but what i think we are going to go do is go to a spot um, we actually are a part of a group that has a warehouse so we're gonna probably go to that warehouse and see if we're able to plant in there now again yesterday on stream i did try planting and unfortunately it disappeared or it said uh this is not the right location to plant that so i'm guessing we either need to find a specific area or we can only plant with inside a house or a warehouse or maybe just a house but um either way i guess we're gonna go to the warehouse see if we can plant inside that and if not 
I think we might just hold the second seat until we're able to buy a house. I've been trying to buy a specific house, but again, um, there hasn't been any realtors in town lately. Apparently, there should be more soon, but uh, I haven't been able to get a hold of any of them to be able to see, you know, how much our house might cost, the one we want to buy. But hopefully, again, there are going to be some more realtors soon, or that realtor stuff's going to get popping a little bit more lately. So we're going to hopefully be able to buy our first house. And of course, I will make a video on that as well. And then, of course, have like a room or something to plant in. I got, I got a couple ideas for a house. I want to spend a lot of time decorating it as well when we do eventually get one we are sitting at about 100 or 266 in the bank so not bad at all uh, my house might cost a little bit more than that though so we might have to make a little bit more money but uh, either way let's go over to our warehouse actually we're going the wrong way but let's go over to our warehouse and see if we are able to actually use the seeds inside of there because again i did try it on the outside and it didn't work so again let's head over to the warehouse and test it out Alrighty, we are in our warehouse. I don't think I've actually shown this on a video yet. But we recently got a warehouse a little bit ago uh, along with a group. We're able to make some radios in here. Uh, there's like a nice little chill area over here for us to talk and such between before heists and everything. This stuff might be used eventually one day for maybe some missions or something, which would be really, really cool if that ever happens. Like being able to maybe do some missions from here or something. That'd be absolutely crazy. Uh, we have like a nice little stash over here with some stuff inside. I think this is an old seed. So yeah, you are able to get other kinds. I'm not sure how we got this one. I think we bought it from someone that will mention. We'll, we'll stay unnamed for now. Uh, we got some security keys in here some stuff some uh, broken goods repair kits and then i have my little dongle because this is going to be where all of my stuff is going to be if i want to keep stuff in here um so far we haven't used the warehouse too much though besides making some radios but it seems like most people already do have radios which is kind of annoying but uh it is what it is our craft is not exactly the most useful thing but again let's try planting in here and see if it is possible i guess we're going to plant down here this looks like a pretty good area for it let's see if this works so again we have the plant pot we have the feed and whew, let's see what happens come on please work please work please work please work you cannot do that here oh and it used up one of our things okay hmm all right so we can't plant in here either it seems so i'm guessing we have to plant in the house that's the only spot that makes sense unless it's in like a like a physical warehouse at like a certain spot maybe hmm I'm guessing we can plant in a house. I think that's... I don't want to keep wasting these because these seeds are super rare. They're hard to get. So I don't want to keep wasting them. So what I think we're going to do is try and hopefully get a realtor and or get in contact with a realtor and get ourselves a house and then maybe test it out there. But uh, either way, I think it's going to be about it for this episode. Um, in the next one, I do want to figure out again how to get the Hydra, but we also might be looking a little bit at the tuner shop since I haven't showed that off in the videos yet. But uh, I think that is going to be about it for this video. If you guys did enjoy... As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And again, in the next video, we're going to try and figure out some more stuff with this. But uh, either way, I will see you in the next video.